talking hello today I'm gonna to be talking about how to play hunter Xomen. I'm gonna be explaining just like the general basis on how to progress in this game so first you start off with basically one thing you need to do and that's listed at the very top of the list I have 10 to 15 minutes of strength training so the key bonds are listed that's so basically we're trying to obtain meditation training now right now so the thing the first step you have to do is simply just do 10 to 15 minutes of strength training which is the key bond j so you just follow the steps the letters it shows by pressing them on your keyboard and then like once you do 10 to 15 minutes of this you should be able to do to do meditation which is the m key bind which just displays this little animation here so once you do that, the next step is to obtain your aura. Your aura. So your aura is simply this. When you obtain it, you can press N and it just displays this. Everyone ha will have a different N color. I have orange. You can change it by buying stuff in the shop. So yeah. The next thing is... Uh, well, actually, no. Not the next thing. You have to do 30 minutes of meditation, which is this, the M key bind. Just sit sit here for 30 minutes and they'll obtain the aura. And once you do, you'll know because it will display like a gold sparkle effect that you've learned something new. Anyways, moving on. For Nen, for 10, for 10, which is the keybind B, and it shows this. It's this. It gives you defense. The first step you gotta do is one hour meditation after obtaining your aura. After obtaining it. So, you just do this for one hour after you once you obtain your aura. So yeah, the next step is simply 20 minutes of strength training, which is the push-ups, after you obtain your aura. Keep in mind, after you obtain your aura. So I'm just going to point this out to make it more clear. If it doesn't say after obtaining whatever, after obtaining whatever, that means... That it doesn't matter how long you've been doing, you just need to have that specified amount of time of doing that training. So, for example, 20 minutes of speed training. It doesn't say uh, after obtaining, so you just only need 20, 20 minutes of speed training in general to for that step. So, yeah. And um, speed training is basically just double tap W and then you hold shift and you start going fast. Now, once you do all that, you should see the gold sparkle effect and you can unlock your... 10 and you can do this next thing is Ren Ren is this it's just a outburst of aura it gives you a significant defense and M1 damage buff M1s are just left clicks and then M2s is a heavy punch and yeah so two hours of meditation after obtaining your 10 so two two more hours of meditation. Once you obtain your ten, which is the uh per the stat we just went over. So once you obtain this, you need another two hours of meditation to obtain your run. All right. So hopefully that's clear. Then uh, so the next step for run is 40 minutes of strength training. After you obtain your ten, so you do this for 40 more minutes. Once you obtain ten, 40 more minutes. So yeah, it gets quite tedious, but you just gotta push through. Now the next step is one hour of stamina training. Stamina training is when you just go up to a wall and you jump and press jump again to stick to it. You can just climb on it. So you gotta do one hour of this in general. Just one hour of climbing on these walls in general. It doesn't matter which wall, it can be any wall. So just do that for one hour in total. Then the last step for training run is 15 minutes of speed training, which is just double tab W and shift to start running. And I'd like to keep in mind that everything I have, basically you'll have like a much weaker version of it once you just once you just get it. Cause like I've been training my stats for lots like a long time now, and it's really tedious to do. So I'll just go over Zetsu now. So once you obtain your Ren, Gold Spark Reflect, you have Ren now, you gotta obtain Zetsu, which basically just hides your presence. So yeah. Uh, Zetsu, yeah. So two hours of meditation after obtaining your Ren. That means you gotta do another two hours of this meditating once you obtain your Ren. Next step is 20 minutes of speed, uh, strength training after obtaining your run. 
20 more minutes of this once you obtain Ren. Yeah. Next step is 30 minutes of stamina training. That means you gotta be on this wall for 30 minutes in general. Nothing after obtaining. So just 30 minutes in general, you gotta be on a wall. Next stat is 10 minutes of speed. You should already have this because it doesn't say after obtaining anything. So don't worry about it, but I was still training because speed is really important in this game, especially if you're in Hunter exams. So once you do all that, you see the gold sparkle effect and you can, you can now use Zetsu. Great. So Ko, next thing is Ko. This is this, it greatly increases your M1 damage. Greatly increases it, which is amazing. So for Ko, you need four hours of meditation after obtaining Zetsu. So you need to do another four hours of meditating after you obtain the ability to hide your presence with Zetsu. So yeah, which is gonna be quite annoying. People are always gonna be attacking you. One hour of strength training after obtaining Zetsu. So that means you gotta do another hour of these push-ups after you obtain your Zetsu. All right. Then the next step is one hour of stamina training. That means you just gotta be on this wall. On a wall, can I climb, hello? Whatever, I'll just go another wall. So you gotta be on a wall for an hour in total. It doesn't, it's another thing where it doesn't matter. You just gotta be, you just have to have, to have been climbing on walls for an hour in total. So the next and last step for obtaining Co is 30 minutes of speed. You just run for 30 minutes in, in total. There's no after obtaining stuff. So you should already have that, but I guarantee you should train it again. So next thing, well, first things first, you get your Co gold sparkle. You see, it, you can now you press X and get it. Amazing. But if I don't already say it, um, C is Zetsu, V is Ren. And the B is 10, which just gives you defense. And N is just your aura. Now the next thing is Ian. So you need five hours of meditation training total. So it means five hours of meditation training from the time you started training. Just five hours of meditation training, nothing after. So yeah, that should be pretty easy because you should already have it from all the other times you train meditation. So yeah. Next thing you need is one hour strength training after 10. This is interesting. So it's not, it's basically a stat that was like a long time ago. You just need one hour of push ups from the point you obtained the ability to use 10, which is the key button B. All right. So the third one is 30 minutes of speed training. Again, you should already have this because it's not, it's just a global thing. You just need to have 30 minutes in total of speed training. Then the last thing. Uh, is wait, yeah. The last thing is two two hours of stamina. That means you need to be on a wall for two hours. You should probably you probably don't have this right. You probably wouldn't have this done because it's two hours. So you gotta do it most likely. And also, this is really important because it increases your stamina. I have a lot of it because I've been grinding that stuff a lot. So yeah. So once you do all of that. You should get the gold sparkle, then you have you have the ability to use Ian, which is the keybind Z, and it allows you to hide your entire presence. Your entire presence. Now, the last ability or stat that you can obtain is Gyo. Basically, to obtain Gyo, you need to have Ren on for one hour in total. This can be very hard or very easy, depending on how you do it. You can use a macro to do it while training your other stats like speed, uh, stamina, meditation, all that. Or you can just do it manually. I, su I suggest you do a macro. I'll give you guys a macro download in the description along with like a uh, thing that you can, you can download to already have a free macro already set up. I'll go over that in a, in a bit though. So after you get Gyo, it's basically just this. You get aura around your eyes. Doesn't work, it's broken sadly, but it'd be very cool if it wasn't. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go over is the food source in this game. So let me go over to this all over here. So there's the, around the map, there's going to be meat and apples. You should meat uh, and apples. Meat costs two, 100 more jenny. And apples cost only 100 jenny. Your jenny is this this little section right here. The green 
the green with the Y symbol right there. So yeah. I suggest you always like be only like half hunger when you buy it. Because meat is worth it. So I'm just going to buy some meat to demonstrate. It fills my hunger bar all the way full. Apples are not worth it. I suggest you just wait until like you're half hunger then you eat some meat. So yeah. Next time I'm going to go over. Uh, this is your Nen bar. Once you're using like one of the Nen abilities it drains it. It doesn't matter which one it is, but some like once you so basically, you can train your nen. So if you use a nen, a nen ability for some time, it starts to make it so you take less nen. So for example, I've um I've trained Ko for a while. It takes this much. Usually it would depend like that much per second, but now it's only like that. So yeah, I trained it a bit. And now it takes less nen. Which is good, because Kill is really OP. Next thing is going to be the islands. So you see over there, there's an island right there. If you come all the way over here, I'm just going to sprint over. There's going to be a little mailbox over here. Um, so basically, you can spend like a thousand Jenny to go over to this island, and then like you go over on that sand, you let's go over here. Bear with me. Okay, almost there. All right. So if you, I don't suggest buying it. You can just run over here like so. But if you do decide to buy it, then you just waste a bunch of Jenny. But yeah, so you travel with the Jenny, a thousand Jenny a piece, kind of expensive for this game. So you can explore the island. This island has nothing on it, but the next island does. So once you spawn in, like once you get teleported, just come over here and you can go to the glass desert. When you spawn in, you're going to want to go, you should probably spawn over there. So you want to go all the way to the back of the island and to the left. And there should be like a, the King Chimera Ant from the anime right there. And uh, you can buy Chimera Ant for 40k Jenny. I don't suggest doing it because you're going to be hunted by like all the hunters in the game, but yeah. The next thing I want to talk about is the hunter exams. So basically, the hunter exams are like four phases. The first phase is the running phase like in the anime. I failed it because I wasn't fast enough. I'm not even fast enough right now, so you got to become fast, like really fast. Like people that you see are zooming, you got to be as fast as them. So yeah. Then uh, the second phase is a team fight phase, I'm pretty sure. It's for like uh, 3v3s or 4v4s, I don't know. And then the next phase is basically just like survive. Like you have like 20 minutes just like to survive or something. And then um the last phase is the 1v1s. Yeah. If you pass, you become a hunter. And to gain um, higher stars, you need to have students. You need to have students as a hunter, and you have to have those students pass the hunter exams. Currently, right now, I'm a student to um a staff, so he wants me to pass the hunter exams, which hopefully I'll be able to do, but I don't know. So yeah, basically that's everything about this game. Um, if you have any other questions, you can just join the Discord server, which I'll have in the description. So yeah.